Fortnite has a ridiculous amount of cosmetics and skins. So what about us players that don't want to spend all that money? We've got bills to pay, college tuition, not to mention DLC for games, let alone the games themselves. Well, we've got you covered today, guys, because we've made a list of the top 10 free skins that you guys can get so you don't have to be a no-skin anymore. As much as I know you guys miss the old days of Fortnite before the bombs fell. I mean meteors, the, the meteors fell. Before this video does begin, I'm sure you guys will be excited to know that as a thank you for 1 million subscribers, we will be doing a 1 million subscriber giveaway. It takes no less than a minute to enter, just check out the link in the description and you may win some free V-Bucks or a special prize. Welcome back to Top 5 Gaming though guys, where today we're balling on a budget and saving you guys some money with some literally free, but well, free enough, Fortnite skins that you can get without having to pay any money. Woo! Let's do this! Number 10, Blue Striker. With the Twitch Prime exclusive skins coming to Fortnite, it's not surprising when we start to see console exclusive skins as well. With PlayStation Plus, you can get the Blue Striker skin, and this skin came out with the second PlayStation Plus Celebration Pack. But don't worry, if it's not appearing in your inventory, you can go to EpicGames.com and connect your Epic account to your PlayStation, which will then unlock it. The Blue Striker's description reads, Make victory your reality. It comes with its own unique back bling called Blue Shift, and its rarity grade is rare. The best part about this skin, though, is that it's easily recognizable as a PlayStation skin. With its blue and white theme combined with some sort of Cyclops eyewear that resembles the VR headset, you'll instantly be able to recognize a PlayStation user in a cross-platform server. Use it to take down those PC players and they'll instantly know they got taken out by someone with a controller. Number 9 is going to be the Penguin and Insignia Backlink. Possibly the rarest back blings in the world right now, we have for you the Penguin and the Insignia back blings. The Penguin back bling represents the logo for Tennyson QQ. This is an instant messaging software service in China that have had their hands in a lot of industries, including online social games. The Insignia back bling is also from Tennyson, but represents their online gaming services, We Game, which will launch the Chinese servers. But how do we get these unique back blings? Well, first of all, I see the penguin and come on. Who wouldn't want that cutie? But then I see the Insignia back bling and nostalgia floods my system as I'm reminded of my days of playing Zelda. Tell me that doesn't have a similar design to the Zelda shields. But getting them is the tricky part. You have to go to the Wii Game website and select the back blings you want. But now you have to play a minimum of 20 hours on the Chinese servers just to get one referral code and then use that to refer a friend. Now, you can only get one referral code per week and once you give that code to your friend, he or she has to play for a minimum of 10 hours for that referral code to count. You now have to do that three times altogether. That means you'll need to spend 20 hours each week on the new Chinese servers plus each friend you refer has to play for 10 hours each. With one friend referral and 10 hour playtime complete, you'll get three medals. And once you get nine medals, you'll then be able to exchange them for one back bling item. I mean, that's a lot of work. And this is obviously to encourage more people to play on the Chinese servers. And if you're really desperate for those back blings, this may be your only chance. But seeing as the back bling represents the company that are helping to start the Chinese servers, it won't be surprising if they stay Chinese server exclusive. So get them while you can. Number eight, Havoc. Twitch Prime's first set. Now, if you were a Twitch Prime subscriber before the 9th of May, then you might have grabbed the Havoc skin from the Twitch Prime pack while you could by linking your Twitch account to your Epic Games account. Havoc is a skin representing those kill feed hunters. With his Black Ops camouflage shotgun shell strap across his chest and matching back bling that has a mini nuke looking rocket on it. You know this guy's gonna be playing aggressive with a fitting description that reads striking fear into the opposition. Definitely one of the best free skins that was available. Number 7 is the Sub Commander, the Twitch Prime first set once again. Another skin that came out with the Twitch Prime pack back in May is the Sub Commander. With this all black and purple Twitch Prime exclusive skin, you'll instantly be recognized as someone who goes for the clips. His description reads, show them how it's done. You get it? Show them how it's done because they stream and show you how it's... Never mind, bad joke. M moving on, the, the Sub Commander is just your perfect skin for streaming or making videos. With his commanding experience and obvious headset, you know he's already planning on how to turn your death into his YouTube or Twitch fame. Watch out, folks, because when you see a Sub Commander about to bounce pad trickshot your booty, you better get your game on. 
Number six is the blue team leader. Now, you need to make sure that you have your PlayStation, Xbox, Twitch, and God knows what other accounts you have linked to your Epic Games account, but have those linked too because these guys keep releasing exclusive skins, and for all you know, you could come back off holiday and suddenly you've got yourself a free unique skin that you might have lost out on. With another PlayStation exclusive skin, we have the Blue Team Leader, which comes with their very own glider. This came out with the first PlayStation Plus Celebration Pack. Her description reads, Lead your squad to victory. Now, at the time, the Blue Leader was probably one of the most used skins in the game. I know that when I saw a blue team leader, it most likely meant this player was a bit of a bot and I could mess with them, but now, since it was exclusive, it's becoming a lot rarer to see, so eventually, it won't be noobs rocking the blue team leader anymore, but it'll be the OG players that have used it time to time to become the veterans and pro players that you see today. Number 5 is the Trailblazer, the Twitch Prime second set. One of the more recent exclusive skins is the Trailblazer skin. Trailblazer was part of the July Twitch Prime set. The whole set included the Tenderizer pickaxe, the True North backbling, the Freestyle and Dance, and the one and only Trailblazer skin. With her description reading on the forefront of victory, you know this is one crazy chick, and I mean that in a great way. There's no need to figure out your next move with a trailblazer because with her headset ready, and as her name implies, she's the type of player that defines working under pressure. She'll be head deep in shotgun carnage, yet still be able to give the rest of her team clear and precise communication. It's the type of player we all search for, yet struggle so hard to find. Number four is going to be Ragnarok, a battle pass skin. Something we're all probably grinding for right now is the season five battle pass. That is if you didn't spend your kid's college fund on V-Bucks, but at level 100, you can finally unlock Ragnarok. Woohoo! We finally got- well, Wait a minute, I've still gotta get 500,000 experience to unlock his clothes? Damn, what is this, some sort of reverse strip club? That's right, once you reach level 100, it doesn't stop there. At first, you unlock your basic Ragnarok, your simple male Viking character, then, after gaining 35,000 experience, you'll unlock his body armor. At 75,000 EXP, you'll get a shoulder pad and some gauntlets. And don't forget the beard extension. At 125,000 experience, you'll gain another shoulder pad, an armor-based layer for your arms, and you'll even get a cape. Now it starts to get really cool. Hit 250,000 experience altogether, and you'll finally unlock his demon skull helmet as well as a beard so thick it probably represents the beard I could grow in the time it takes to get all this experience. But now you're on to the final stage for Ragnarok. Hit a total of 500,000 experience and you'll unlock some more skeleton armor as well as a glow effect for your eyes and skeleton armor. With the description that reads Cold Harbinger of Fate, you can't help but be a bit nervous to encounter one of these at the moment. Well, that is unless you're like me and the first time you encounter one is in the last two for the victory. And when you go to start a build battle, he literally slips off the mountain and kills himself. <laughs> Ouch. Worthwhile V-Bucks you spent there, my friend, but... Although it does take a ridiculous amount of time to get it for free, you can technically get the Battle Pass for free. Therefore, it is technically a free skin. Just like with the Twitch skins, you're paying for the subscription. You're not actually paying for the skin. Thus, it is technically free. Free! On to the number three spot, we've got John Wick, another Battle Pass skin. The John Wick skin was probably one of the most desired skins in Fortnite's beginning. With the Season 3 Battle Pass, you can unlock the skin by reaching level 100. What isn't commonly known is that within Fortnite, he's called the Reaper, but his actual name is Jason Wick, with a description that reads, Vengeance for Hire. This is an obvious reference to John Wick films in which stars Keanu Reeves attempting to get vengeance on those that had hurt the ones that he cared for, but the actual scar on his right eye is artwork mimicking a famous movie poster from the 1983 movie Scarface. But this is by far one of the current best skins in the game, as Season 3 was quite a while ago, now that people that do own John Wick are becoming hardened veterans at the game, so keep an eye on your back because this hired gun is a trained assassin. Number 2, Omega Battle Pass. Now, you may be wondering why we chose some of the Battle Pass skins, like I said earlier, and it's pretty simple. With new players constantly coming to Fortnite, it'll be these seasons that represent the true players to be feared. In a year's time, when Fortnite's still smashing records, there'll be tons of new skins. But if you happen to see a Ragnarok or Reaper skin coming your way, you'll know that you have your wits about you, as these skins are impossible that we know of so far to get anywhere out of those season passes, making them extremely, not just rare, but limited edition. And that's why we're also in 
introducing the Omega from the Season 4 Battle Pass to the list. When you first unlock the Omega at Battle Pass level 100, you can only get the very basic skin, but you unlock each part of his armor depending on your experience level. At level 25, you'll get his body armor, at 35, armor for his legs, level 45 will gain you armor for his arms, and level 55 will get you his face mask, and at level 80, you'll unlock his lighting effect for the entire body. Similar to the Ragnarok, its customizable armor allows for you to choose your style to go into combat with. Personally, I enjoy rocking no armor green Omega with the new arc type pickaxe and glider, and the green and black look is always cool, and having Omega without the armor I like as it's slim build skin, meaning you have more visually clear space around the character for when you're playing, but that's just me. What's your favorite setup to go into battle with though? Number one is the Royale Bomber, a very rare skin, the PlayStation Bundle exclusive. With probably the rarest skin in the game at the moment, an exclusive to not only PlayStation users, but to also Europeans, we give you the Royale Bomber skin. This new skin can only be acquired at the moment by buying a brand new PlayStation Plus Fortnite bundle pack in Europe. That's right, you have to get a whole new console just to get the Royale Bomber. If this bundle is coming to the US, there hasn't been any confirmation so far, but don't panic. We got you guys, and there have been some sneaky ways found to get a hold of this rare skin. Now, when you buy the bundle, you get a code that allows you to unlock the skin, and some people are selling these codes online. Just be careful what sites that you use, but if you use accredited or verified websites that you have made sure are 100% authentic and 100% legitimate, you can buy these. But the fact of the matter is that you do not have to pay any money for the skin. What you're doing is you're just, this is mainly for if you're going to buy a console already. So you'd buy the console and then the skin would in turn be free. Like I said, I would not try to buy a console just for the sake of getting the skin. But if you're going to buy PlayStation 4, which there's some big titles coming up, we've got Red Dead Redemption 2 and we've got Black Ops 4, which is looking like it's gonna be more of a PlayStation exclusive as far as DLC goes you're going to want to get that PlayStation, so why not get a free skin in the process? Now, if you're lucky enough or rich enough to get one of these Royale Bomber codes, then follow these steps. Create a European PSN account. Now, you need your main PSN account to already be linked to your Epic Games account, but then you need to remove your main PSN account. Now, link your European account to the Epic Games instead and go onto your PS4 and start Fortnite using your European account. Put in the code and unlock the Royale Bomber. Once you've done this, you can now relink your main account to your Epic Games account and you'll be able to play with this new skin on your US account. It's pretty sneaky and could be risky considering how Epic loved to give people the ban hammer, but I don't know, do you think it's worth the risk for possibly the rarest skin in the game? I mean, if everybody else is playing on North America's servers and you have a European skin, nobody else is going to have that skin. It's probably going to be just about as rare as having Skull Trooper and Ghoul Trooper. And the last method beyond number one to get free Fortnite skins is to enter our giveaway to win some free V-Bucks that you could put towards skins. Again, thank you so much for 1 million subscribers. We truly could not have done it without you. And you guys really mean the world to us. Now, obviously, there are some comments down there that we're, we're going to just give it a yikes. But um, other times, there are some genuinely nice comments that just make our days that much better. And so we see that we're helping a lot of you guys and entertaining a lot of you guys and making your days better. But the truth is, you guys make our days 10 times better. I would say if we get 10 terrible comments or just 10 poorly thought out comments, in those 10 comments, if there is just one comment that just says any kind of kind words or you've said anything nice on behalf of our channel to help us get to 1 million subscribers and have supported us, just know that we love you guys. But this has been our list of the top 10 best free Fortnite skins that you guys can hopefully pick up if they're still around. I know a lot of these are rare skins, but there are some on this list that you guys can still get that are technically, virtually, or methodically free. Other than that, we hope you have a wonderful day and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.